In 2015, there will be an estimated 1,658,370 new cancer cases diagnosed and 589,430 cancer deaths in the United States. Nearly 14.5 million Americans with a history of cancer were alive on January 1, 2014. Our mission is to assist cancer patients and their families with the medical, financial, and emotional complexities of their diagnosis by providing them with their own private oncology nurse guide. You cared about Rosemary, a stranger to you, when you didn't have to. When you told me during our first phone conversation that you would go see her within 24 hours, you did. I was so far away and was reaching out to anyone, any organization to get help for her. You were the last phone call I had to make because after that, she was in good and caring hands. You have no idea how you touched her life by being there for her. She wasn't all alone and she wasn't so scared. Every doctor, every medical facility she encountered failed her when she needed them to treat her. Somehow she fell through the cracks. I wish we would have found you sooner. Who knows, there may have been hope for her. You are a blessing and I cannot thank you enough for everything you did for my sister. I moved to the area in 2010 and four months after I moved here, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Wow, was that a shock. I didn't know anyone that had had breast cancer. I didn't have family here. I had lots and lots of questions and I didn't have the answers. I didn't know any doctors, so I had to begin the whole process of who do I go to and what do I do and where do I start? It was very overwhelming. It was very stressful. But I'm a fighter, and I'm a survivor, and I have a very strong faith. And fast forward five years later, here I am, and the cancer has returned. If I had known in 2010 what I now know, that there are people out there that can help you, there are people that care about you. And I met this wonderful woman, her name is Susan. Susan Shear is my angel. She's the co-founder of the Angel Foundation. And I sat with Susan for a couple of hours and I told her my story and what I had gone through and the fight and the overwhelming decisions I had to make and the doctors that I needed to make. So here we are again, more questions, more decisions to make, but I didn't have to do it alone. I had my angel. Susan called for all my records. She understood that my views on Eastern and Western medicine, we can all work together for the good of the patient, and that's what it's all about, caring about the patient. So Susan and I went on a search for the right doctors who respected my, my opinion, my viewpoint on the care of my body, my temple, so Susan not only made the appointments, but she was there at the appointments with me. And as I asked the questions and the answers came, some of the medical terminology I, I didn't understand, so Susan was there to guide me through that and to explain everything and even asking questions on my behalf. It's been the most wonderful experience. This foundation has helped me. The people there truly are angels. I have two surgeries facing me and I know that Susan will be there and support me and pray with me. So all I can say is they make a difference. They've made a huge difference in my life. So thank you, Susan. Thank you, the Angel Foundation. God bless you and thank you. My name is Dr. Soria. I'm the founder of the Peregrine Institute. Um, my passion is to treat cancer pain. Uh, my cancer patients are the most special to me and having uh, the nurse navigators from the foundation has been a blessing for me. Just a few years ago, I did not know what a nurse navigator was and I don't believe many physicians uh, knew either. The, uh, the role of a nurse navigator now to me is very clear and it's uh, almost as if I cannot live without them anymore. They. I believe that they improve outcomes for these patients because they ensure treatment compliance, they help 
uh, the patients uh, stick to their appointments, understand their treatment, so the patient is certainly more compliant with it. And also, the, uh, they help with that other part of cancer, which is dealing with the emotional roller coaster of that disease. And that's, that goes not only for the patient, but for the family and also for their physicians. I can't thank you enough. I know we haven't gotten far yet, but just to hear the relief in my mom's voice this evening after hearing the hopelessness and the fear last night, and to hear her say that finally, after three months, she'll be able to rest is priceless to me. I only wish she would have let me know sooner that she was continuously getting the runaround. I am incredibly grateful just to know that there's a process being started that will ultimately lead to her treatment. Give today to make a difference in a cancer patient's life tomorrow. Thank you so much. <laughs>